The Multiple Choice Text Assessment Question Type The Multiple Choice Text Question allows you to test the learner's knowledge by prompting them to select the correct answer based on a list of text-based answers. I've already created a lesson and completed the settings card of the assessment screen. Next, I'll add my questions by clicking on this orange Add button on the questions card. Remember that you would need to create a lesson before adding assessments. Please refer to our video, How to Create a Lesson, for more information on creating lessons and navigating to the question types as shown here. To start, select the multiple choice text question type from the list and type your question in the field provided. Please make sure that your question consists of 160 or fewer characters. Once you've entered your question, click Next. Next, you need to enter a minimum of two or a maximum of four answers from which the learner will need to select the correct answer. To populate the multiple choice text options for the learner to choose from, click on each answer bar and enter the answer in the field provided. Please note that your answers are limited to 140 characters. If you exceed this limit, the system will not accept your answer. Once you've entered all the possible answers, you'll need to indicate which answers are correct and incorrect. This is done by clicking on the Select Result drop-down where you can set the various options to correct or incorrect. Down here, you can tick the box to have the answers shuffled every time the question is viewed or you can leave it unticked and the answer options will stay in their current layout. Once you're done, click on Next. Now, you need to add your question timestamps. Setting a timestamp lets you select the exact time that you want a question to appear on screen while a learner is completing a lesson. You can add a timestamp using the following three options. You can add a timestamp to the start of the video, directly at the end, or at any other time by dragging the bar to your selected time or typing in the minutes and seconds here. The preview window here allows you to view when in the video the question will appear based on your selected timestamp. Click on Next when you're done. Like the rest of the question types, you also have the option to automatically fail the assessment if this specific question is failed or not to mark this question. Click on Save when you're done.